Okay, so if you guys follow my channel, you know that I like to keep busy, both in my consulting gigs or my professional job and also YouTube, now that I'm doing a little bit more full-time, right? And as much as I like to share my knowledge here and I like to keep busy and I like to do a bunch of stuff, there has been something that has been happening behind the scenes for a while now, for a long while, that I haven't been able to share with you guys because of many factors, right? And today is the day that I would like to share this with you guys, which is basically all about a brand new game studio that I founded with a bunch of friends and colleagues that I highly admire in this industry. And we are working on an incredible AAA action IP that I cannot tell very much about, but I can tell you about the journey that we intended to have from here until we actually ship this game. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so welcome to another video. This is incredibly exciting to me. And before I go ahead, I have to thank you guys for all the support that it give me here on YouTube. A while back, before I go into GDC, I made a video about announcing something special and not being able to talk about it very much, but gave you guys a little bit of a teaser that something was going on behind the scenes. Well, this video is a little bit about showing you a little bit or telling you a little bit, I should say, about what's going on behind the scenes. And you know, you guys have been absolutely crucial for me to actually have not only the courage, but also the support to actually make this new step in my career. And you guys have know, if you follow the channel, that I've been working in the games industry for 20 plus years. And basically what's been happening is that after learning animation, after working in AAA titles, very successful AAA titles, after being a lead and a director and leading teams and things like that, for a few years now, I've been feeling very much like the next natural step for me, it would be to actually start a studio with somebody or someone, or basically start it by myself if necessary, because I felt very much like I wanted the creative freedom to actually create the games that I really feel passionate about and also surround myself with people that are as passionate as I am working in the games industry, get together and create something special. Now, as you actually become more experienced in this industry, because you go through so many negatives, uh, so many problems, also positives, there's a lot of people that, even though they've been here for a long time, you can tell that the passion is gone off, right? The passion is no longer there. But I have met quite a few people through my years that are incredibly passionate for games, for games development, and a very, very talented in what they do. And that's basically the people that I would like to surround myself with. So a few months ago, well, quite a few months ago, um, I actually started this studio called Proxima. And the reason why is because years back, I met an incredible, talented writer called Sylvain, Sylvain Runberg. We actually hit it off. He has incredible work. And we started going through his work and we realized that there was a lot of ideas and things that we could do together and actually kind of like make something happen. So this must have been about four or five years ago. Now, this idea has been in my mind for so long because Silva was the very first person to tell me, like, if you feel like doing something together, if you feel like creating a game together, or if you feel like working, let's do it because I'm definitely um, like, you know, willing to help you and he's an incredible writer. So, you know, narrative for me in games is incredibly special and very important. The best games that I like, it doesn't matter if it's Zelda or Uncharted or whatever, they are very narratively driven. And this is my passion for games. And I feel like I need to go through a journey and feel incredibly, you know, emotional towards the end. That's the kind of stuff that I like. So that stuff has been in my head all these years since I met Silva. And I kind of been thinking, speaking with my wife about what would it be like if I actually started a studio based on this idea that we're going to actually focus on the games that I'm passionate about, which is basically, you know, single player, third person, action adventure, with a story incredibly well told, with animations absolutely amazing, great animation systems, and all of that jazz, right? The stuff that I feel really amazed when I play a game that has, has all those things. However, there's been lots of ideas that have been rummaging in my head for years that I think that we can do even better, a better job than some of the studios out there. So what would happen if I actually were to start a studio and then basically surround myself with the people that I know can do a job 
equally as good or better than I can um, in this industry that I've known over the years, right? So, you know, the idea started growing in my head and the more I actually got busy in the games industry, the more I thought I either need to stop everything I'm doing and start this other thing that I've been thinking about or I'll continue down this path that I'm go going to always be more busy and I'll never do it. So I had to make an executive decision and part of the reason why I went into animation consulting, part of the reason why I decided to do take YouTube way more serious now and doing a little bit more full time is been because of that, to create space and time so I can focus on this idea of creating a studio. Now, the studio's been up for quite a few months now. I have been contacting a bunch of different talented people that I know of in this industry and outside of this industry that I know that can do an absolutely brilliant job in this in this company, in this game, with these people. And everybody so far have, has been very kind and very willing to kind of jump on board when they see the ideas that we have and what we've been doing. So the team is becoming a little bit of a superstar team, I feel at least, and I'm incredibly grateful to be working with everybody that has joined the team so far, and the ideas are flying, and everything feels absolutely just smooth and absolutely amazing. Now, don't get me wrong, this journey has been incredibly hard for me, and you guys don't see this in these videos, but there's a lot of stress, a lot of meetings, a lot of stuff going on in the background that is very, very difficult. And are things that I'm not comfortable doing because obviously I'm in the creative space and I'm normally used to working for somebody for a paycheck. So this is basically me getting out of the comfort zone and actually learning this new world of business. And even though it's scary, it's something that I feel like I have to learn and it's exciting to me because I'm learning a new skill that I didn't have before that if all goes well, it's gonna make me a better person or a better businessman in the future. And sometimes I cannot believe some of the stuff that I say or who I talk to. And I kind of have to pinch myself a little bit. Um, and there's also a feeling of grinding, right? Because you are known in a certain industry like animation in games, but nobody knows you outside of that bubble, right? So how can you actually make sure that people know what you have done, some of the things that you accomplished and yet, trust you that you can do a really good job creating this studio, putting together this team and making an amazing product at the end of the day. So those bridges need to be crossed, those bridges need to be built. And it's been a really, really enriching experience for me and the team. Now, I wish I could show you more about the game that we're working on, the projects that we're working on, the IP, the team, all that stuff, I wish I could show you more. But for now, we're gonna have to work on stealth mode. I announced that on LinkedIn, like just last week, and it's been received with amazing, amazing um, uh, positivity, lots of great comments, lots of motivation. So we are feeling very hype right now, not only because we've been working really hard behind the scenes, but also because of people starting to know a little bit more about what's going on. and. My idea right now is to not make the company super visible because we have to be stealth, but the idea right now is to basically work behind the scenes so we can work towards showing you guys something that we've been working on for a while now in the near future. And I have a feeling, and I hope this is true, that if publishers and investors are excited when they see the stuff that we've been working on and they see the stuff that we're presenting, I can only imagine when you guys get to see it and get to like, you know, experience some of the stuff that we've been working on because we feel like it's a little bit groundbreaking. Um, and I think that it's going to get people hype about playing our game, right? And knowing more about the studio. And my whole idea as well is to take this, this experience that I have with YouTube and use it for the studio so you guys can come with us on this ride that we are building slowly with this amazing team. Because every individual member of this Proxima team is special in their own right, is accomplished in their own space. And I cannot wait to actually tell you guys about each individual person of the team because every single person is special and is amazing and I feel incredibly humbled and honored to be working with them yet again on something this special and something that we can actually be fully creative and have, you know, 
the capacity to hold it within a studio that is very transparent, right? Because transparency is everything for me. I hope you guys get the feeling from these videos when I talk to you guys that I'm all about transparency and not keeping any secrets. So for me, within the studio, working in a AAA studio environment, um, normally there's a lot of secrets, there's a lot of meetings going behind the doors, you don't know what's going on and you're supposed to just focus on what you do, which is animation or design or art, whatever it is, and just do that, shut up, do your job, that's it. For me in the studio, it needs to be very much like everybody needs to know what's going on and where we're heading towards, what is our goal, good news, bad news, so we can all kind of feel incredibly uh, proud and accomplished when you get to the end goal, right? Because making a game is incredibly hard and it's gonna take years for us to actually make this, for us to publish this game. So the only way that I know how to make a team feel connected, you know, coherent, is very much like, you know, when you go to war in soldiers, you can see like a battalion, they go through good stuff and bad stuff. And all the best teams that I've worked in is always been that way, right? You actually share the good and the bad. And because you go through it for a few years, by the end, when you finish, when you accomplish the main goal, especially if you're successful, you feel like you've been through something together and you feel so connected and so like, you know, like you are the best team in the world. And this is what I wanna create with Proxima and everybody that comes and join us. Now, the team is small right now, we actually need more people and we will be hiring as we go along. But for now, we are kinda keeping it small just to make sure that we not only get to know each other very, very well, but also that we can actually set a very strong base for the studio that we can kinda like build upon, right? And we've been very organized, we've been very thorough with everything we do because we respect the player and we want to make sure that this experience is something that not only challenges you mentally but also takes you through an experience that by the end of it you feel absolutely amazed so me in my mind i actually keep zelda you know in the core of my game making because there's no other game that actually made me feel so uh, connected with a character towards the end a game is no, our game is nothing like Zelda, just to clarify, but I just want to make sure that we respect the player in the same way that I, and Nintendo respects a player, right? Make sure that they make choices that make them feel good and they look good and also the journey is incredibly memorable. That's basically what we want to achieve, what we want to do right now. Now, I know that this is a massive teaser and I'm not really showing you guys much of what's going on, but I hope to actually show you more and I hope that you guys come with us in this journey um, of creating a studio that um, you know has badass animations but most importantly is an incredible game to play. And if you guys want to get in touch with me about more questions or how to actually kind of like make part of the team or get involved, definitely shoot me a mail or get in touch with me via my Discord server or Twitter or any social network that you actually guys we have. Connect with me. Always happy to have a chat um, because I think having people ready whenever we're ready to actually hire people definitely is going to be useful. Also, rest assured that for all the animation community out there, I want to make sure that this game has absolutely astounding animation and the animation works is seen through the whole game and it looks absolutely stunning because my whole thought, and I've been feeling this for the longest time, animation is normally downplayed in a lot of games or the animation department is not considered as uh, important. And after being in animation for so long, I know that absolutely animation is one of the most important things that you can do in any game. Nothing moves without animation. Things don't have personality without animation. In all the studios that go hard on animation, like the Platinum Studios and the Insomniac Studios of the world, all of those are respected way, way more when they do like an amazing job animation wise because the whole thing flows better, looks better, you know, feels better. So for me, it's very important for us to do that. So rest assured that our animations will be top notch and we're going to be hiring, you know, if we can, the best animators out there to make it happen. So that is what I had to say about Proxima. Now you're familiar at least with the name and what we're going with and the, our ideology behind the studio. And we are itching to tell you more about, but we can't. So until I can tell more, please be on standby, follow us. I will link down below our YouTube channel so you can at least follow that. And we're gonna have social links very soon. If not now, if I have any of those, I'll link it down below as well. So you guys can start following us and kind of like, you know, 
going with us in this journey right so yeah that's it that's all i had if you like enjoy this video and if you actually want to see more about proxima consider subscribing hitting the like button and also drop a comment below let me know what you think about an animator starting a game studio is that weird or is, does that feel right i know that there's about two studios that i know that actually have an animator leading them team ico and also um Sony Santa Monica, with they have Corey, Corey Barlog, obviously, kind of leading the God of War games. And those came out pretty good. So I hope I can take a page from their book and make this successful. And hopefully I can take as much of the animation community with me because, you know, we need the support and we need the know-how as well. So it would be great to have you guys with us on the journey. That's it. That's all I had for you guys. As always, thanks for my Patreons for supporting me every single month. And until the next video, stay well, stay safe. Peace.